Starting up a profitable business is certainly exciting stuff, but at the same time, it can feel pretty overwhelming and daunting if this is your first time out. On the one hand, there's this burning desire that you've got to work for yourself and freedom and all that stuff. But on the other hand, it can totally feel like you're wandering around aimlessly in the dark. So here, you and I are going to break down the big components for you to start a profitable business for yourself. How's it going, my friend? I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you are definitely in the right spot. Okay, let's take a look at how you can start a profitable business. Now, first off, to help you along with all this stuff, because again, it can be daunting and overwhelming and complex and all this stuff, what I've done is I've put together a free online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free PDF download that really gives you a solid blueprint and a solid foundation for you and for your online business. This is a, a printable workbook where essentially you fill it out and then use it as a guide and a reference as you begin building and developing your online business. And as I say, this really becomes the foundation for your profitable business. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And if you want to go even further with everything that you and I are going to be discussing in this video, then stick around all the way to the end and I'll show you how you can gain free access to some additional training that is really intended for folks who are serious about building an online business, a fulfilling and profitable online business. So like I say, stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can gain free access. Okay, so now as we go along, by the way, you might want to scribble some notes as we go because there's a lot ahead of us here. The first thing right off the bat, the first big major component, which really should go without saying, but it is like fundamental 101 stuff. The first thing you need to do is you've got to make sure that there's actual demand, actual market demand for whatever the heck it is that you want to sell through your online business. This is because what happens most often is those who are brand new to business, brand new business owners, very, very often, I'd say like 98, 99% of the time, they start off with an idea first. They start with an idea for a product or a service or a business that has, of course, never been done before. It's totally unique and amazing to them, and they're convinced that it's going to make them tons and tons of money. By the way, I call these unique, never been done before business ideas. I call these magical big ideas because new business owners fall in love with them and their magical ideas take on almost sort of a mystical power because this new business owner is convinced that this one single idea has the power to give them everything that they've ever dreamed of. Do you see the problem here with this, with coming up with a magical, unique, never been done before idea? It's all about the person who's starting the business, right? It's all about what they want, their dreams and you know, their wish to fire their boss, all this crazy stuff. It has nothing to do with who matters most, which is the potential customer, the market, the audience. Those people are the most important people. So this whole concept of dreaming up some magical big idea, this is not how business works, not even close. And in fact, most magical big ideas die slow, quiet, painful deaths before they even arrive on the launch pad. These ideas never take off because no matter how badly the business owner wants them to work, no matter how in love they are with their magical big idea, they totally flop because the cold hard truth is nobody wants it. Nobody cares. Nobody's interested. People are only interested in things that will add value to their lives or fix problems that they're wrestling with, you know, or things like this, alleviate some kind of a pain that they're dealing with in their life. So where did the best ideas then for products and services and businesses come from? My friend, they come from your audience. That is the group of people that you want to work with and serve through your online 
business. This means that the first big task that you have ahead of yourself is research. That is to figure out what sorts of people you want to serve and what it is that they actually want to buy. And the bigger and the more complex the problem is that your big idea solves, then the more valuable it's going to be and the more money people are going to be willing to pay you for it. Okay, that's the first huge business concept that I've got here for you. You're going to have to roll this around a lot and really sort this out for yourself. We got to move on here. Here's the second big concept. The next thing you need to do is to take the data that you've gathered from your marketplace, the audience, the special interest group that you want to serve through your online business, take all that research information and then take it to the drawing board. In other words, what I'm saying here is to begin developing and engineering your solution, the solution that you're developing for your audience. And the solution that you're developing becomes your product or your service. The best way to work through this process is to develop low cost prototypes as you go that you can then show to members of your audience. Yeah, literally build something, a, a rough idea of what you have in mind. Again, it could be a product, it could be a service, who knows, but you build something kind of rough and then you show it to them and you go like this. And then what you would do is you would use their feedback to iterate and approve upon what it is that you're offering. But at the same time, sometimes, and again, this is a process and none of this is easy. At the same time, you do have to take some feedback sometimes with a grain of salt. Oftentimes, people don't really know what they want. They know what solution they want. They know what result they want, but they might not be exactly sure how to get there. So really, all of this is really more like being an investigator or like a detective. And another word of caution comes to mind. Don't wait until your product is perfect before you ship it, before you launch it. Perfect is the enemy. Just get things done. Just good enough. Good enough is good enough. Get whatever it is that you're going to be offering to a good enough state and then just ship the damn thing. Don't worry if it isn't absolutely perfect yet. You have the rest of your life <laughs> to tweak this thing and fix it and improve it and upgrade it. So for now, my friend, just ship it and then perfect it later on as much as you want based on what it is that you want to do. And also, of course, based on the feedback that you're getting. Okay, here's our next component, our next step, really. The last thing that you want to do is you want to over deliver, over deliver on the value that you're providing big time. So what I'm saying here is if you charge, let's say 10 bucks for your product, deliver 20 bucks in value. If you charge $500, give your customers $1,000 in value and so on. Let me tell you, way, way back when I was just fresh out of high school, I had read somewhere to work harder than you were being paid for. I can't remember what I was getting paid way back then. Obviously, probably minimum wage, something like this. But I took it as a personal policy to over deliver every single day, every single time while I was at work. If I was told to stack those boxes over there, I am about to demonstrate to you and to everybody else here that I am the best damn box stacker on the damn planet. Catalog that inventory. I already did that right when I came in for my shift. You know, this kind of stuff. This personal policy of over delivering value has served me incredibly well, very, very well over the years. It gave me a reputation among my employers and managers that I was that I would always perform well beyond expectations. It's this same work ethic that I bring to everything I do. And I strongly urge you to do exactly the same. This is a great way to ensure that your customers stick around for a long, long time. All right. Now, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward to building your profitable and fulfilling online business, then here's what to do next. Pop open a new browser tab, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash web and enroll in your free business website masterclass. This is a free self-paced online workshop where you and I 
work through the fundamentals, the absolute basics that get missed so many times by so many people. I don't want that for you. We're going to work through it together. So bring something definitely to take notes. Bring all your awesome ideas, my friend. Bring a beverage. What the heck? And I'll catch you over there in just a second.